Rich here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to create a comic book. It's not going to be a great comic book. It's just going to give you the power to be creative in Affinity Photo. So if you have kids, you can put them in a comic. If you have family members, you can give this as a fun gift. You can create a whole book out of it. So let's get started. First thing I will do is go to the Rectangle Shape tool, and I'll create a rectangle. And for now, I'll just give it some kind of fill. And I want it to have a stroke. So we go into the stroke section. And I'd say about that much would looks pretty good. Now I'll duplicate that. Control or Command J. And I'll bring it down here. And I'll convert it to curves. Well, first I'll make it smaller like maybe like that and then I'm gonna convert it to curves so you could right click and say convert to curves or you can click up here where it says convert to curves by converting to curves that means I could take my node tool now and move it to any kind of shape I want so I think I'll do maybe like that okay and now I'm going to duplicate that, Control or Command J again. And I think I will flip it vertically and then flip it, arrange, flip horizontally so that they kind of meet. And maybe I'll even take this corner and bring it in just to, no, you know what, I'll leave it. And then now I'll repeat the one above. I'm going to control or command J that, bring that down, and maybe like that. I think that looks pretty good. We'll do another one, duplicate that, control or command J, bring it down, and maybe this one will just go half. Or well, maybe it'll be two. So control or command J. Whoops. Control or command J again and bring that one like that. And then control or command J on that one. And maybe we'll put this. I'm going to line this up. I have snapping turned on up here so it'll line up. And maybe like that. And this is going to be the basis for our comic book. Just so I'm not confused, I want to just put them in order. So when I click on the top one, that's this one. Let's bring that to the top. Next one, that's here. Next one is in the right place. That's in the right place. This one should be below that one. So this one is be right here. That one right here. And the last one is right there. Okay, so now we have our comic page setup. Now we're going to bring in some photos and I just took a bunch of photos. I believe I have them. I'm going to have some of them listed, but it really doesn't matter what photos you use, but I thought these would be fun. So I already masked every one of these photos out. You don't have to, but I already masked out. So I'll show you that's what the original looks like. And let's see, this one looked like that and that, and that, and that. So let's go back to here. Okay, so now that we have our page set up, let's work on the first uh, frame of the page. So the first frame, let's just have some fun like a regular uh, old style comic book. So what I'll do is I will create another rectangle. I don't want to use the same one. You can make it as big as you want. And in that, and I want it to be clipped to the shape of the first rectangle. So now that that's clipped, I can take that. In fact, I'll even make that the same color. So let's give it that color, right? And I'm doing I'm doing it for a reason that I'm not doing the original because it'll affect all the pictures if I do it a different way. So let's just bear with me a second. Then I'm going to go to layer. New Live Adjustment Layer Halftone Filter, and I'm going to make the dots really, really small. 
and you can do a different kind of blend, maybe overlay blend. Oh, instead of dots, we could do circles, which I like that. That, that has a good look to it. And so that's one. Now, on top of that one, let's do a new shape. Let's do star, and we'll make this one. Whoops. Let's do star. So let's first create the star shape. I'm trying to click it. There we go. Create a star shape, and we'll make it yellow. Just give it some bright color yellow. And you can't, the reason you can't see it is because it is clipped into this. So you can see that that's, that shape is part of that frame now. So wherever it goes, it'll come out. And I could change, for example, the points if I want to have a lot of points. If I want to do pow, bang, whatever I want in there, that would be cool. So now let's see. Let's take one of these people. I'm going to take this young woman. So we're going to copy this one. And then we'll go back to the original. And once again, I want to put her in this clipping. So I'm going to paste her in here. And since I do have a mask already done, I can do that. So I can even have this come like this. She can come like that. It's kind of fun because you can take, uh, especially for children, you can take photos of your children and uh, do a whole comic series on them. If you, don't, if you don't want to hand draw, just use photos and clip them out. And here's another one you can do. There's in the shapes you have call outs. So in the call outs, I'm going to bring a call out here. So let's take, oops, undo that. Okay, so I'm going to bring this call out. And this call out allows you to, oh, tail position. I don't know. Let me just play. There you go. So I could do tail position like that. Sure, I can do different ways. Tail height. Let me see. I can go like that. I could probably... Let me see how I'm going to do this. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. And that's the fun of this program is learning what you can and can't do. I'm just playing with all these. I can make that round. And all right, I think that kind of works. I can turn it if I wanted to. I don't like it round, actually. So let's go back to the square. I think I like the square like that. And then you could type something in here. This could, and, and this one, for example, you can take a fun font. And just I'm just going to type right here right now. P-O-W, like pow, bang, whatever you want to use. And, and let's put a good fun font. And I'm just going to go down the line. I know there's some wild fonts in here. Let's see. I'm just using my arrow key and picking something that I think would work. Ooh, there we go. I like that one. So we can do that. You can uh, scream, whatever you want to do in here. But I thought that would be fun. So that's one way. So let's finish. That frame is done. So let's go to the next one. And by the way, it doesn't matter what the color is. I can even turn the color off on this. I could say none. Uh, because the color of this doesn't matter. We're clipping things right inside. So let's pick another one. So let's, um, let's see. Let me go back to where I'm doing it. Okay, let's do the children one. I thought that was a cool look. So let's take that. I'm not even, I'm, I'm going to use the whole thing on two frames. So let's copy and then go here. And let's close this one up. And this is the next frame that we're on is right here. I'm going to do it above it first. So I just pasted this above. Now what I'm going to try to do is, and just for the sake of this, I'm going to try and make it extend to two different places. So almost like the separation is in there. So let's do that first. And so, and I'm going to also, let me just, 
you know what I'm turning let me turn all of these into no fill so there's no confusion this one none this one so we know what we're working with I'm just clicking each one and putting no for fill okay so now we're back to this now the first thing we want to do is I'm not going to even set it up inside the frame yet I'm just going to create the effect first so I am going to duplicate this photo with C control or command J and then I am going to hide this top one and just work on the bottom one and I'm going to do layer live filter halftone filter I'm gonna get close up so we can see what we're working on uh, let's see view actual size would be good that's where we're at so the cells we want pretty small and circles we can use circles I'm just playing right now to see where we're going to be with this um, maybe even smaller like something to that effect give it a little I, I like overlay for this one so let's use that okay and then we're turning on the one above it and remember I masked out the one above this this mask was hidden but I'm gonna bring this one back so now you have the two kids on the above layer playing with this fun background and I thought that was a cool effect so we'll take those two now and group them as one piece right and we're going to first bring it into that frame and then we're going to duplicate it control the command J and we're going to bring it into the next frame so now let's go out a little and see what we've gotten so now we have two different effects I'm not trying to be consistent here I'm just trying to show you some fun ways to create a comic book scene so that's that's another way to do it uh, so let's see what else we can work with this I have soccer I have this girl running I already did that and let's do I could do the cemetery too so let's see what frame I think maybe I'll put her in the cemetery so let's control uh, copy control C go back here and pick this frame control V bring her this girl down here maybe we kind of like that and we'll move her into the frame which is clipping oops didn't do that right let's try that again I don't know what I'm doing wrong hold on a second this is the right one so this should be able to clip in here there we go so okay so I have it now that she th she's under here so now we can play with this girl we can actually just play with the whole photo and not do a clipping or I could turn on the clipping if I wanted to do something different so just in case I'm going to duplicate it in case I want to use the clipping so let's take the bottom one and see what kind of effects we can do there uh, there is a different kind of halftone effect and I found this but you can't adjust it afterwards so once you do it you, you have to just do the whole thing but I found if you go to view studio library and under distortions there's a half toner and it it kind of gives a different look all the circles are in different sizes so you can play and decide how you want to do that so I kind of thought that was interesting so I'm going to hit apply and then I think I'm also going to in the background maybe I'll turn that into a black and white so let's see adjust um, hmm I forgot where that was oh black and white and then that's I'm just gonna leave it as is and then we'll turn on the front one and we'll, we'll bring back the mask and maybe the front one this front one maybe we'll give it 
I don't know, a hue is saturation. Whoops, sorry. Uh, on this front one, we can go to adjustment, hue and saturation, and maybe do some weird kind of thing. I don't know exactly. A little bit of color. It kind of has a weird look to it. And that should only be part of the girl, too. And again, I'm not trying to be tell you that this is what you should do. I'm just trying to show you that you can create comic books this way. And so we'll try one more. We'll go to who haven't I used yet? I think the soccer kids. Copy. We go here. Let's touch on this one. Paste. Let's move the soccer guys right here. And we'll clip them into this rectangle. Oh, I did it again. I don't know why. Let's bring them below and then move it up to the side. There we go. So in this one, let's get a close up. I think I'll make them look like, I don't know why, but I think um, we'll give this another half tone. I'm going to stick with the half tones since I've been playing with them a lot for this comic, the old style halftones. So let's go halftone again. This time, let's keep them like maybe there. And I'm gonna change the mode. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a weird look. I'd say even smaller than that, just small dots like that. And then they seem to be chasing this ball so what I'll do is I can throw another layer on top of the ball and we'll take a paintbrush and believe me this is not going to be fun or fancy so I'll take maybe some fiery looking color and I will start with a round brush painting here I'm just using my mouse All right. I'll give it some horns and maybe a body this and maybe something like a ghost effect and maybe maybe somebody's wrapping around because he's scared and then I'll go into <laughs> this is really pretty bad but I'll just show you what you can do maybe I'll go into a 3d effect just give it a little bit less and then maybe a outer shadow and the offset will be something like to this effect <laughs> This is pretty sad, but he's supposed to be scary. And then maybe I can also do, let's get rid of this color thing. I could do dodge and burn, which is his burn, which would give me more darkness. It should be giving me some darker colors here. And maybe some dodge will give me lighter on top. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, because my opacity is down way low. Let's do this. Let's do this, and maybe even the mid-tones will bring them up. But you got the idea of what I'm doing. And let's go back to burn. And shadows. Good. This should be. And you just have to keep doing it until you can just see differences in color. So there's my monster. So he's really afraid. That was so bad. I can't believe how bad that was. But I'm not trying to do anything fancy for you. I'm trying to let you be the creative people. And this is what you can do with a comic book. I don't know. Is there any left? Should I do one more? I, we have her. I think that's the last one I have here. So we'll pull her in. Copy. And we'll go back to the first one. And maybe she's going to be here. So we're going to go over there. We're going to paste her right here. And let's give her, make her smaller. And that's good. And what I think I'll do with her is I will turn on the mask. Well, before I turn on the mask, let's, let's bring her down into the clipping. And then I'm going to turn on her mask. So she has, oops. So there's nothing behind her. So now if I create another shape behind her, oops, sorry, 
rectangle. Let's do this. Let's do a rectangle. And we're going to give it a color, I don't know, green. And it doesn't matter. There's no stroke, but it won't show anyway. Because we're going to put that right there. And also now we could take that and do a half tone, which is the, what we did before. So we say layer. Um, let's see. New live filter layer, half tone filter, just like we did before. Maybe this one I'll just leave black and white. I think that's kind of cool. You could do dots. You could do lines. Lines. I'll just see what lines you could do things like that. Or you can do circular, which is kind of cool also. If you do circular, you might go into the blend mode. Oh, I like that. So let's do that. That's kind of cool. So that's good. And you can change her color and do what you want. But I don't have another picture for this last one. So I'll just do another shape. And then I'll put the shape behind there. And then I'm going to, once again, layer. Um, sorry if you hear my dog going around. We're going to do half tone again. And we'll go to color this time and really small like that. And then I'm going to put some type. So type is digitally fearless. And I'm putting the type in there. There you go. Pretty bad. <laughs> okay, let's do the type in a different color. So let's change the color of the type to something crazy. Let's do some bright yellow maybe. Oh no, maybe some red. No, I'm going with a yellow and then we'll give it a stroke. I don't know what I just did. I guess that's not a stroke. I don't know what that is exactly, but I'm going to leave it. So actually I don't have a stroke because if I wanted a stroke, I would go into the digitally fearless and go to, I see what happened. I wasn't on there when I did stroke, but here I can go to um, outline and see if I can come up with something. There you go. So there you go. Uh, and that's my comic book. And I hope you like this tutorial. So if you did, please click subscribe and have a great day.